Today I am making chili. It's super easy to do. Um, I have my ingredients out before you. I have two pounds of hamburger. I've got oregano and basil and chili powder, salt and pepper, onions, fresh green pepper, garlic, and then diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, and then I also have black beans, pinto beans, and dark red kidney beans because I like a lot of color in my chili. And it's super easy, and I'll show you how to do it. So, follow me. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to chop the onion. And I kind of cook, kind of playing it by ear. So I might add one, I might add two. I'll just kind of see the consistency once I get the meat in and decide whether or not to add a second one. All right, so I've diced my onions and I've diced the green pepper. I'm just gonna add that in. I like to dice my green pepper pretty small. Okay. All right, so now you just add that all in with the ground beef. Just kind of chop it up. It's all gonna smell so good in just a minute. Okay. Now I usually add, if I'm mincing my own garlic, like probably anywhere from four to eight cloves, depending on my particular taste of that day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spoon this stuff in. eyeball it for now. With the spices you can always add more but you can't take away so that's why I like to start small at first and taste as I go. All right so I am just gonna let the onions and the green peppers loosen up and soften and saute in the juices of the hamburger meat and I'm gonna let the hamburger meat brown and then once that's done I'll show you the next step. All right so I've browned the beef and the onions and green pepper are tender, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and drain it to get rid of the excess fat. And then I like to hold the pot down with a couple of cloths and stuff. All right, and I drained all the beans and rinsed them, so they're ready to go in. adding my diced tomatoes. And again, I'm eyeballing these. Once I see the consistency, I might add more or not. I just added three. Three looks like it'll be good for now. And then Add two tomato sauces. And then you want to add about a cup of water. Looks like it's pretty thick. So I'm going to add an extra tomato sauce and probably another diced tomato. All right, so I'm going to add the chili powder and again, start small and add as you go. I'm going to start with the tablespoon. night for chili. It is a perfect night for chili because it is thundering. I don't know if you can hear it in the background audio, but it's amazing. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit 
little bit of pepper or a lot of bit of pepper. Depends on where you're from, I guess, but I like a lot. All right, so I've tweaked all the seasonings to my taste, and then you're just gonna cover it and let it just simmer really low for as long as you want. Honestly, the longer you let it sit, the better it's gonna be because the spices will have a chance to set in. And so that's all. That's how you make chili. All right, so I let my chili sit for about an hour. It's just been simmering on low. And then I like to put cheese on it. And there you have it.